Okay. Area times, no, base times height uh, times one half. Base times the height, and I'm just going to look, because a lot of people think this is a lot easier, divided by two. Because that's really what a half is. When you multiply by a half, you're just going to divide by two. So those two formulas, length times width, base times height divided by two. Make sure those are big letters, very noticeable, because if you don't know those two formulas, the first two examples are going to be really, really hard. And you just won't know what to do. Okay. Also, those are up here as well, if you ever need to. They're also in your book a lot. They're in the lesson chapter. There's a lot of places to find these formulas. All right. So find the area of this figure. Corners look square, are square. Dimensions are in millimeters. Um, last class, apparently, Jaslyn just eats the entire pizza. But for normal people, when you get a pizza, you have to do this with it so that you can give out pieces. What do you do? What's that called? Planitia? Divide. Yeah, you're going to divide it, cut it up, whatever you want. So where would we cut off this shape? Because you can't do something with it. That's weird. That's awkward. You can't really do that. So just like you can't take up a whole pizza and just shove it in your face like Scooby-Doo does, you're going to have to actually cut it up before you start eating. Where would you cut it up? Ariane? Do you want to come up to the board? Come up to the board. Where would you dissect this? Don't put your hand on the board. Uh, not quite. Uh, let's try for someone else to try. Uh, let's go, Malik. Give it a shot. Because you want to get a rectangle and a triangle. Not quite. Because now you got a trapezoid. And I don't want to deal with trapezoids. I don't want to do that. Josiah? Last chance. See if Josiah can get it. We want a rectangle and a triangle. He did it. Thank you, Josiah. All right. So now we need to have our two formulas. Area of a rectangle, area of a triangle. First of all, let's make sure we understand this. So let's do the rectangle first, because first, that's nice and easy. What is that formula? Should be nice and big on your front page. What's that formula for a rectangle? For a rectangle. I got four people who I'm pretty darn sure they already know this, but I'm looking for more people. What is that formula? We just had you write down at the very beginning. For a rectangle. For a rectangle. Kyla? Length times width. Uh, Josiah, can you name the length times width? 10 times 7. 10 times 7. Someone said it without raising their hand. But who can actually with a strong, silent hand? William? It'll be 70. So inside this rectangle, it's 70. Now we gotta find the triangle. First of all, well, what's the formula? What's the formula? What is the formula for an area of a triangle? Lanesha. Got it. Awesome. Perfect. But we just cut this up, so we don't know what the base and height is quite yet. Let's go with base. What would the base be? So this is the base. What would the base be? Tyler? For the triangle? Yeah, for the triangle, right uh, here. 11? What? Huh? Uh, not 11. Not 11. Ethan? 9. It would be 9. Why is it 9? Because we have a 16 here. How in the world did he get 9? How in the world did he get nine? Ariel? He took seven plus four and ten plus six and subtracted. No. He took sixteen minus seventeen. Because do you see how this line cuts it off? You got this perfect rectangle right here. You don't even look at the square. 
or the triangle. Now you got to cover up the rectangle parts, and you got to take 16 minus 7. What did you say? 17. I'm sorry. My bad. So you got to take what's up here and subtract it from what's down here because you only want the part that's not been used. Do you want to eat somebody else's pizza? Yeah. Like someone just takes a big, like, loogie and spits on it. Oh, Do you want to eat that piece of pizza? Yep. I'm worried about you, carry on. That's what this is like. So you can't use this section of the of the base because they spit on it. You don't want to eat it. You have to use what's left over. So in order to find what's left over, you take the base that's been used, seven, subtract it from the total. That means you have nine left over that's not been spit on. So you use nine. Okay, so now we got the base. Nine times. Now what's the height? Going off that same promise, because we did use some of the height over here. We did use the height over here. And when there's some that someone spit on, we don't want to use. So what would the height be? Juwan? What would the height be? You don't know? Make sure you listen. Josiah? Four. Not four. Four is not even a part of the triangle. You're on the right track, though. Tyler? Six. It would be six. Because Josiah was right. Four is a part of it, but four out of six. So you got to take the 10 minus four, and you get six. So now you got six divided by two. That's a weird two. I'm sorry about that, but my hand is apparently too large for this. What is nine times six? William? It is 54. 54 divided by two is? Aaron? Juwan? 54 divided by 2 is? Lanesha? That's 27. 54. 5. So doing it in my head. It is 27. Is it 27? Yes. Oh, it is 27. Okay. What was I doing last class? Let's see. 54. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Yeah. All right. Now, what do you do? You have 70 and 27. What are you going to do with both of them? Malik? The denominator came from because the formula is you take the base times the height and divide it by two. So that's just part of the formula. So do you have the formula on your page? Awesome, because that's where you get the two from. Good question. So what do you do with these two numbers? Because now you got both areas, Kyla? Right, so you're going to take both 70 plus 27, and you get... Come on. 97. 97. Great. Now, but what's mm -hmm. left? Because you guys know this, I do correct labels. Very hard. If you haven't noticed lately. So, Ethan, what's the label? Uh, millimeters. Uh, n half, right? We're working with area, so it has to be a part of it. Area squared. Aaron? Josiah was right. He just didn't read the same. Right. Millimeters with that cute little two on top. I think it's cute, so I always go with two. If you write the word square, that's fine too. But essentially, what it is, it's 97 millimeters square because you're working with area. Every answer that has, every question that has the word area, the answer has to be squared. Also, in your all your homework, when it has these questions about it, all the labels will be up here. There won't be in the shape. They'll be in the sentence. So make sure you look there. Kapish? Uh, Tyler? Yes, but I don't like that. That's too confusing. In fact, that's actually what they do right They do. They explain right here. But I think our way is a little bit more easier. All right. The book does a, two, book does a different way, but I'm going to do it a different way than the book does. I'm going to cut this up first because you have to. I'm going to cut it up in two different directions. So I have a rectangle, another rectangle, and a triangle. I'm doing this because one of your questions in your exit ticket has to have you three, do three shapes at once. Okay? So, yes. Always got to draw. So you know what you're looking at. Make sure you copy the shape down.
So you're going to need, let's do area of rectangle equals area of rectangle equals area of triangle equals. All right. So we need to find all three of those shapes. Let's start with the big rectangle. That one's pretty easy. What is the base or length and width of that big rectangle? Again, you four are doing five are doing great with this class. Constantly raising their hand. Carry on. It would be six times ten would oh. equal six. Right. Great. Now these are done. Don't have to worry about them. They did take some stuff up. Let's do the other rectangle, the smaller one. Okay, what's the length and width of this smaller rectangle? With William? Did you say 10 and 3? No. Well, you got the 3 right. But remember, we just used up 6. Someone just spat on that piece of pizza. You can't use that anymore. But there's a whole 10 left. So you got to take 10 minus 6, which gives you... Do you want one? Four, correct. So you got four and three. So four times three. This is four. Oh, I wrote that way too big. Four times three, which equals for that other small rectangle. Lanesha? Twelve. Now we got that triangle. What is the height and width, or um, height and base of that triangle? Ethan? Base is four, height is seven. Correct, it's four and seven. And just like Malik asked last time, you put it all over Two, because that's the formula. Now, why did he? Where did he get the seven from? I don't even see a seven on the board. Where did he get the seven from? Josiah. He subtract. What did he subtract? He's right. Yeah, he took ten minus three because. Here's the height over here that we can't use. It's already done and eaten, whatever. And the 10 over here, so you got to take that 3 out of 10. And then you got the same base as the small one. Uh, what's 4 times 7? What? 28. 28 divided by 2 is? Tyler? Last step. What did we do with these three numbers? Say it all out, class, in three, two, one. Correct. So you're going to take 60, 12, 14, 14, add them together. What do you get? Kyla? 86 what though? 86 what though? Malik? Centimeters what though? Square. There you go. Centimeters square. You will get it wrong if you don't have that square. Ariel? Oh, I forgot to have my hand. Nope. I guess you're just practicing for basketball, trying to get taller. Maybe that'll help you one day. Yeah, Joanne, you're kind of you're short. All right, any questions? No, I'm trying to get taller. Okay. Like I said, those formulas are very, very important. This next one, Malik tried to make this shape. He made a trapezoid. 
Now we're gonna learn how we would have solved if we did Malik's way. Now, please put your hand. I, I keep. I know you're trying to get I'll taller. But I, I forget. I get thing for your question. You will have to use a different formula for this because it's got those two slanted sides. It's kind of weird and awkward, much like many of you sixth graders. Um, so this is the formula for a trapezoid. So make sure that you write the word down, trapezoid, above this, like this, and then circle this formula because that's very important. On your exit ticket, you don't have any trapezoids. But on your assignment, you probably will. This is the formula that you have. Make sure you get a half times in parentheses base one plus plus base two. Make sure you put the plus sign there. And then multiply by the height. They see me moving. Is it, isn't that the song? Yeah. Isn't it like, what is this song? What is this dance move from? I don't know. Oh, I like to move and move. I want to watch no. that movie now. No. We should watch Madagascar. Oh, I like to move. Anyway, Ethan, what's up? Uh, Go ahead. Uh, for the first base, it's 10. For the second base, it's 7. Right, because when you talk about bases, Ethan knows that that's the flat surface it's going to sit on. It's not going to sit on these tapered edges because that will look weird. So he knows that the base is 10 and 7 because that's the flat surfaces. You add them together, and you'll get. Yes. So, oh wait, I'm sorry, I forgot a step. So you write down the formula, then you fill everything in. So fill it in. Then you solve for the parentheses, like Lanesha said out loud, is 17. Then you take 17 times 6. Then you divide whatever you get by 2. So I'm going a little fast because we have one more example. Time's running out. And you get the answer of 51 centimeters squared. You got to have that square. So just like the other formulas, except when you get to the trapezoids, you have to add both the bases. Because it's got that weird slope. Okay, now we're done with dancing. It's getting too distracting. Every time I get half, class goes off the rails. Try to be fun. No, I feel like I'm a pretty fun guy in general. Okay. Example four. Estimate this trapezoid. This is a, you don't have this on your exit ticket, but you will have one in the next couple lessons in your homework. Make sure you copy down the shape and you copy down the letters for the measurements. Very, very important so that it can help you in those future assignments. Ethan? You have to split it up, right? Well, just copy it down right now. Now, this is why I say you should have at least a little note card or something with a conversion table on in it with you all the time because this gets confusing. Because what is what is how many inches are in a foot? Juan? Twelve. So you're all working with feet and inches. So if the number is halfway between uh, half half of twelve or, or half of twelve or more, you're gonna round up. So what's half of twelve? That's half a dozen. Mackenzie? It is six. So you got to ask yourself, is this five, five feet 11 inches? Is 11 inches greater than six? Nod your head yes or no. Yes. So you can cross this out and turn that into a six. Six greater than six feet or six inches? Six feet. How is it greater? feet? No. Because... Make sure you raise your hand. 11 inches is saying estimates. So you're going to have to round. 11 is greater than 6, which means you have more than half, so you're just going to round it up. Now, 7 feet and 2 inches is 2 greater than 6? No. 
So this is going to stay at seven, seven feet. feet. Last but not least, 10 feet, one inch. No. Is one inch greater than six? No. no. So now you have 10 feet. Okay, so now we estimated, now we got the correct lengths for everything. Now you would just add, multiply eight by seven because this trapezoid has a straight line in it. So you don't have to do the base times height, or base plus base times height. Wait, where did I get seven from? Or eight from? Right. There's no way. It's like eight. You got seven feet. Because the average. Oh, it did average that, huh? That is the original one. Eight times seven. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Oh, I get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you do have to do the formula. Why didn't they show the formula? So what you do is you take, what is it? Six plus 10 divided by two times seven. I don't know why they skip that stuff. Sometimes I hate these parables. That's how you got 50. Tyler? Is that why I'm getting your laugh on Yeah. Saxon, I just don't like Saxon. I really wish most of their assignments would have more to do with the lesson that we just learned. Because I don't know if you know, it's a lot of it's review. But it is what it is. I know too. Anyway, bring it back. Bring it back. Ooh, I don't see a lot of hands on desk. I don't see feet sitting up. If you can confidently say, I can identify the same area of a complex shape, raise your pencil above your head. You have the top part to help you. You have your notes to help you. You have your math book to help you. All else really fails. Trust yourself. Make sure you cut the shape up. Make sure you cut the shape up. Use those formulas. Nope. Get ready, get set, go. If you're virtual and you don't have a question, you're free to leave. Yes, Baron. Well, yes, so if it helps you, so if it helps you, take your notebook. There you go. There's your rectangle. What do you see? Mm-hmm. Well, what's the formula? Wait, that's right. 